let's talk about something that most of us experience on a day-to-day -day basis while browsing uh, through the internet. And that is, let's talk about cookie banners and cookie consent. Even though some people may interact with them without paying closer attention, they are very important for respecting our right to privacy. So, uh, what are in fact these cookie consent banners? Well, a cookie consent banner is an interface uh, featuring a cookie consent tool uh, through which we can view information about all cookies and trackers used on a website. Cookie consent is required under multiple data privacy laws, uh, such as the GDPR in the European Union or the CCPA, CPRA in the United States. The main purpose of cookie consent is to inform us about the use of cookies and other website tracking technologies and give us the option to accept or decline the use of cookies. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a consent management platform to your WordPress site with just a couple of clicks and without any hassle. Now, the plugin we're going to use today is called CookieBot, the one you see on the screen right now. As you see, currently it has more than 100,000 active installations, it has good ratings, and it has a free version and a pro version. The free version is suitable for small websites, as you see. Free plan allows you to scan up to 50 sub pages and it has limited features. There is also premium light, premium small, medium and large plans. It depends on your site sizes. If you take a look at the features, then just scroll those down and you'll see what are the limited features for the free plan. Now connecting your site is real easy. Just create an account, log in and you'll see most important tasks right here on your dashboard. The one you see here in the middle are basically the same that are here on the left on the menu. So let's add a domain. I'm going to add my own domain. This one is for my test site. Scan frequency, daily or monthly. Monthly is enough for me, so let's add it. And done. Now I'm going to take a look at the configuration a bit later. Before that, let's take a look at the implementation. There are two ways for you to implement the cookie banner. First is by embedding a cookiebot script on your site. Use this if you're a techie person, but if you would like to use a simpler version, then there is a WordPress plugin, the one I showed you earlier. So I'm going to go back to my site, install the plugin, and after the plugin installation, you'll see the cookiebot menu down below here. Let's go to the dashboard. Now I'm going to connect my existing site. Next, I need to connect my domain group. That is, I need a group ID. If I go to my account, then you'll see that under the implementation, there is a group ID. I'm going to copy it and paste it here. I can select the language. I'm going to leave it as auto detect, whether to use a location to set the language, select the cookie blocking mode, I'm going to select the recommended option that is automatic cookie blocking mode. Now let's save it. And if I open up my site, there is my cookie banner. Easy peasy, isn't it? Now let's take a look at the additional settings. I can activate the auto update of the plugin. I'm going to do that. Whether to disable the cookie bot in the WordPress admin area, I'm not going to do that. Cookiebot on front end while it logged in. I'm gonna leave it deactivated. Let's save it. Now let's take a look at the tag manager. If you're gonna use the tag manager, then activate it here and add your tag manager ID here. In this video, I'm not gonna do that, but these are the settings here. Next one is a Google consent mode. By default, it's enabled, and since I need it to be enabled, there is nothing to configure with this here. If I would like to pass the data between pages when not able to use cookies without prior consent, then I can activate the URL pass-through. Let's save it. And next one is TCF, that is trading customers fairly. If you would like to activate this one, then you can do it here and choose the data based on your needs. Under the multiple configurations, if you activate it, then you can add banner and so on. Let's save it and let's take a look at the plugins menu. There are some available add-ons. 
that is plugin enabled, check one or multiple cookie types, preferences, statistics, mar marketing, display the placeholder if needed, and unavailable add-ons are displayed here. Now, if we go back to the Cookiebot admin panel on their site, then under the configuration, I can customize the banner, whether it's a pop-up like the one you see here, or let's save it. Let's refresh the page. And now it's down below here. And I needed only one click. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Now I'm going to activate the pop-up. Style effect is overlay. And what's an overlay I'm going to show you. So let's hard refresh it. And now you'll see there is a black overlay here. Looks a bit better for me. Under the design, I can add the logo or disable it. Button styles, whether they are outline, mixed or solid. This is the preview here. I like the mixed version more. There is also a theme, whether it's light, dark or custom. Here you can choose the colors for the theme and for the buttons. I like to keep things simple, so I'm going to just activate the light version. Let's save it and done. Under the compliance, you can choose whether it's explicit consent, implied consent. If you're wondering what is what, then take a look at the tooltip here. Under the additional settings, you can choose the default mode for checkboxes, whether the preference is activated, statistics is activated or marketing. You'll see from the preview what's happening here. You can also display the close icon up here. I'm not going to do that. And now select the territory for visitors who will be asked for consent, whether it's all visitors or you can choose a region. There are some legislation presets for you. Since I need it only for European Union, I'm going to apply the preset for this one. Let's save it and let's take a look at the content itself. Here you can change all the banner text, heading, body text, button text, general cookie introduction, necessary cookie category title, statistics, preferences, marketing, unclassified. There is also a privacy trigger. You can change the information here. Under the privacy, you can choose whether to display the privacy button. It's a small icon that enables your user to check or update their given consent easily. This one here. This appears here when the visitor has accepted or denied your cookies. Under that, this button is here. If someone clicks, then he or she can change the privacy options privacy selection here and this is a way for you to customize it this is a template for domain group one as you see if you go to the templates you'll see that there is a select template here you can start with a template or you can use a custom code i'm going to choose this one here click next and i can start all over again but since i already configured it as i need it then it's good to go so Fairly simple, nothing tricky here. As you saw, it took me only a couple of minutes to set it up. Next, let's take a look at the cookies and reports. If you click here, you will see all the cookies and trackers on your site. If you have more than one domain, then you can filter them here. If you scroll down, you'll see all the cookies used on your site. You'll see the provider and category. If you need to add your own cookies or tracker, then you can add it here. You can also see the reports and you can scan report receivers. Under the analytics, you'll see all the total consents, all total opt-ins and opt-outs. You can change a period or domain. Under the settings, you can add your company info, manage your subscription and invoices. One more thing, CookieBot also allows you to test whether your site is compliant just add your website address here, click on check my website, it's going to scan your site, add your email, and you'll see what data your website collects and shares with third parties. It's also used for, for California Consumer Privacy Act. Nice tool. Now this is one of the good plugins, but I have also made a separate video about five 
free WordPress plugins you wish you knew before. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it. In the meantime, take care.